Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create this trick where I'm drinking a lake using Adobe After Effects. So let's dive into it. First let's see the original shot. It's pretty simple, you just need to find a nice location with a lake and put your camera on a tripod. Then pretend you're drinking the lake through a straw. Pay attention to perspective and make sure that the bottom end of the straw is somewhere in the middle of the lake. Finally record a clean plate. And that's all you need. Now you might be asking how are we going to get rid of a whole lake? I'll show you that just in a minute. But first I have a special giveaway for you. Today I'll give away one year of Envato Elements for one of you for free. If you don't know what Envato Elements is, it's an awesome library for creators with thousands of professional assets like After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, intros, motion graphics, as well as stock footage and green screen videos. They even have great music and sound effects and literally anything you would need for a project. They offer unlimited downloads of all these assets just for a single price and you can cancel it anytime. It can really save you a ton of time in post-production. But now you have a chance to win a year of Envato Elements for free. All you need to do is comment down below how you would use Envato Elements for a project. The winner will be chosen within 5 days so be sure to check the comment section. Moreover, Envato Elements also has a great YouTube channel called Envato Toots Plus, full of free courses for content creators on various topics ranging from Photoshop and Premiere to After Effects as well as workflow tips and much more. So you should definitely give it a shot. All links will be down in the description below. Now let's get into the editing. First thing I did was I took an image from the clean plate shot and brought it into Photoshop. If you don't use Photoshop, you could also do something similar in After Effects. Here I created a detailed mask around the water, so that I can remove it. Then I searched for a bunch of images that could be used to fill the area and create the bottom of the lake. I cut out different parts and tried to blend them seamlessly. A great tool that can help you with this is Puppet Warp, which you might be familiar with also from After Effects. A nice touch is also to leave some water on the ground so that it doesn't appear to be completely dry. Finally I did some color matching and this is what I came up with. Next I exported the final image as well as a black and white mask which we can use in After Effects. In After Effects I placed the clean plate and main shot on the timeline and brought in the empty lake image and the mask. I used the lake image as a luma inverted mat. Now we have this. To get the body in front of the empty lake we need to do a bit of rotoscoping. Duplicate the main shot and bring it to the top of the timeline. Trim the layer and grab the roto brush tool. Then draw a selection around the body and adjust it when needed. Once that is done, freeze the selection and tweak the settings. Now this step is optional, but I created a separate layer for the straw and used the key light effect to isolate it from the background, since Rotobrush had a hard time to follow the selection and it was taking too much time to adjust it for each frame. At this point we can create a water animation. Move the clean plate shot above the main shot, but below the row toe. I animated the opacity of this layer to go from 0 to 100, so that it slowly fades in. Next grab the pen tool and draw a rough mask around the lake. I decided to use the mask expansion to make it look like the water is disappearing. To make the mask smoother on the edges, I used the roughen edges effect. I cranked up the scale and border. I also animated the border to go from 0 to a very high number. Then enable animation for the mask expansion, go a few frames ahead and decrease it till the water disappears completely. 
To make the animation smoother, you can right click the keyframes and choose Easy Ease Out and Easy Ease In, or use the shortcut Shift F9 and F9. You can also tweak the animation in the graph editor. To feather the edges, decrease the edge sharpness and animate the value. Next we can add some displacement with a displacement map effect. First create a displacement map by duplicating the empty lake image. Use the curves effect to add more contrast and you can disable the visibility of this layer. Then add the displacement map effect to the clean plate layer and choose the displacement map layer. Select luminance and animate the values. You should get something like this. To fix the overlapping with the tree on the right side, I duplicated the main shot, brought it on top of everything and masked the tree. Furthermore, let's make the straw dip into the water. Select the roto layer and take the pen tool. Then draw a mask around the area where the straw should disappear. Set the mask blending mode to subtract. Now enable animation for the mask path and animate it. Next we need to add some water splashes and ripples so that it looks like the straw interacts with the water. You can find some great ones on Envato elements. Just place these elements around the straw. Additionally, I decided to add a bunch of ripples around the whole lake when the water disappears so that there is some extra movement and interaction. Finally, pre-compose everything together and you can add some fake camera movement and color grading. And we are done. If you found this helpful, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video.